Father, I want to thank you for the way you love me. Bless me and keep me from a baby. Lord, thank you for always watching over me. There are times due to circumstances I wasn't happy. Bad grades, bad attitude, and daddy wasn't there for me. Broken heart, broken home, broken community. And on top of that, no A, B, or C, only D's and E's. I was outclassed and looked down upon like an outcast. And when people asked, I put on a mask and lied at the past, but in reality, I was at the back of the class. Things were tough. Life was rough. And on top of that, I was meant to feel I wasn't good enough. Low self-worth, low self-esteem. Who can I talk to? But things change. When I start to go to church and read the Bible and realize that the impossible is possible. Thank you for giving me that great mentor, Clarence Anderson, who taught me to be Clarence Eunice Jackson, who studied with me, prayed with me, and taught me how to follow you. My life has never been the same since then. And Lord, I want to say thank you. When the opportunity came for me to leave Yard and go and live abroad, I thought life was harder, Yard, until I reached Broad. <laughs> I've never cried so many times in my life. I cried until it rained. I cried because I couldn't take the pain. The same pain that was driving me insane, I still remember it. The pain that taught me how to pray until I get over it. Yes. yes. Lord, I've been faith in you, kept me alive. It gave me focus, taught me to focus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you for the gifts and talents you gave me. I'm truly grateful. Thank you for the times when you were there for me, but it was painful. You always there when I needed someone to love and care for me. Lead me, guide me, and show me on the way that's best for me. Back then, I was failing and falling, falling and failing. But now, I'm rising, pursuing a higher calling. I have a reason to live, a reason to be, and I'm being. Thank you.